Purify our conscience, O Lord, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I think most of us are familiar with the popular song, Mary, Did You Know? But what do we know about Mary? I don't think we always see how amazing she was. Mary was humble, devout. She was brave and strong, wise beyond her years. Mary was joyful and blessed. And she was chosen by God to bear and raise the Messiah. Mary was humble, from a poor family in the nowhere town of Nazareth, a tiny speck of a town with only between 100 and 400 people. Mary was from Nazareth, not the bustling nearby city of Sepphoris with its culture, wealth, and fancy villas, with its shopping and its 30,000 residents. No, Mary and her family were from, from a town of poor farmers, shepherds, and laborers who had to walk an hour each way every day to sell their goods and services in the big city. In John's Gospel, Nathaniel said, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Just like people today might say, Can anything good come from Helena or Pine Bluff? People looked down on Nazareth. Isn't it interesting that God chose Mary, a poor young girl from Nazareth, instead of one of the rich girls from Sepphoris? God chose Mary, an insignificant girl from a nowhere town, to be the Christ-bearer, the mother of the Messiah. God chose a poor girl whose family may have literally lived in the hole in the wall, dwelling in a cave in the side of nearby mountains because that was the cheapest home you could have. Mary knew what it was like to be hungry. She knew how the, ho how the lowly were mistreated by the powerful. Mary also knew and believed in the God of Israel. Mary was faithful, a devout Jew who trusted God and believed in Holy Scripture that foretold the coming of the Messiah. And she knew that the Savior was supposed to be born within her extended family, the house of David. Mary was wise, a special girl wise beyond her years. When the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary in the, her hole in the wall home, she did not say, I'm not worthy. She did not say, pick someone else. She boldly declared, here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your will. Mary did the hard thing. She said yes to God and turned her life and her will over to God. Mary was brave and strong. She knew the risk she was taking. A pregnant, unmarried woman could be stoned to death. And if word got to King Herod, Mary and her unborn child would have been put to death because of the threat it posed to his reign and his power. So Mary told no one. She did not tell her parents. She did not tell Joseph. But she just couldn't stay in Nazareth with the prying, judging eyes upon her. Not yet, anyway. But where would she go? Who could she trust? Mary's elderly cousin, Elizabeth, was the only person who Mary could turn to. She was the only person who could possibly understand how Mary was feeling because Elizabeth was the only person who might believe this wild story of angels and miraculous conceptions. Mary needed the support of Elizabeth. However, Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah lived 80 miles away in a village near the Temple Mound in Jerusalem. But Mary, brave and strong, chose to leave her home and take this arduous, long journey. Can you imagine Mary walking in the heat 
for up to nine days, sleeping alone in the hill country at night, pondering this great thing that God was doing for the world through her body. Can you imagine how exhausted Mary was when she finally arrived at the home of Elizabeth and Zachariah? Mary entered the house and greeted Elizabeth, and when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's child, who had become John the Baptist, leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was so filled with the Holy Spirit, like prophets and kings of old, that Elizabeth began to prophesy boldly. Blessed are you, Mary, among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The words of the prophet Elizabeth would become the words of the Hail Mary. Elizabeth was the first person in all the Gospels to call Jesus Lord. Elizabeth was the first person, the first prophet, to declare the good news of Jesus, our Messiah. Mary was blessed and joyful. After hearing the encouraging words of Elizabeth, Mary broke into song. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Elizabeth was there to give Mary perspective. She reminded Mary three times she was blessed. Mary, out of all the women in the world, God chose you. You are blessed, really blessed. You will be the mother of the Savior of the world. And it's a blessing for you to be in my house. Mary would really need these words of encouragement. She would need to be strong to endure the whispers and glances of her community. Mary would use these words of blessing to give her the courage to face the things that come. Mary was joyful and blessed. In the midst of the challenges ahead of her, Mary was joyful. After hearing and receiving the blessing from Elizabeth, Mary sang with her whole being, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. God, help us to be humble, faithful, and wise. Help us to be strong in the midst of difficult things. Help us to believe. Help us to say yes to you. Give us eyes to see how very blessed we are. Help us to see that we have good news to share. Help us to see that there is light in the midst of darkness. Help us to know that there is still new life being more born into the world through us, even in the midst of the death that surrounds us. Help us to see all of your blessings. And help us to see past our current circumstances. Help us to trust you and follow you and use our adversity to your glory. And help us to glorify you in all things. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>